the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey everybody, God bless you. We just had a great Bible study. I mean, I'm talking about the fact is that I, I did a little preliminary session uh, on Saturday. Was talking about the fact is, talking about the affirmative action plan, right? And we talked about the fact is that the Supreme Court said then said, we're gonna just, we just gutted affirmative action because we are a colorblind nation. And you know what? God says that we are all one body. You know, so our body is it's not not talking about the spiritual body that we're all a part of. Is 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 also supposed to be colorblind, right? And also supposed to recognize the importance of every piece of the body. That if one part of the body hurts, and all the parts of the body hurts, and if one part of the body rejoices, and all the parts of the body rejoices, and it'd be great for us to get there to to that point where we all operate as one. We all see things not based on the color of our skin, but the content of our character, and that we don't base our content of our character based on the images or narrative that other people try to put on us as individuals or as a collective group. We're not all racist, we're not all uh, bad or murderous or all that, no, no. We, 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 we special us supposed to be the part of the body of Christ, we operate in love, not in hate. So we, you know, so we covered a lot of the scriptures today, and and uh, we one of the things we covered. First of all, let's make sure I give you the uh, title that we had. Let me see if I can get that up for you. Uh, well, maybe I shouldn't get that up. Let me see. Let me bring it up to the scripture all the way up, and then I'll show it to you. The title uh, that we had is this right here. And it said that, and you see the title when you actually pull up the, the slide, but it said, God is our chief affirmative action planner for eternal life. I made it too heavy because I did one on Saturday. And, and obviously the, what I did on Saturday is different from what I did today. But the bottom line is three, John 3, 16, God so loved the world that he gave his only God's son to whosoever. See, whosoever is not based on the color of your skin, not based on you not based on anything except for you believing. You know what I mean? And maybe we get to the point on society that we recognize people as whosoever in any endeavor that they try to achieve. And then we don't sit there and try to sit there and hold somebody back or, or create, you know, like system, uh, systematic racism or anything else. We're going to sit there and say is that all of us need to look at one of us as one body. You know, just like one nation under God. Right? And so therefore we, we that's what we talked about. It's the subject for the day. And I and I it really brought home the fact is the importance of loving one another. And one of the pieces of the scripture that I like, the, we talked about the uh first Corinthians. Let me show you this real quick. First Corinthians chapter uh twelve, starting in verse twelve. You can see the topic it says body with many members and you know I, I just started with just that read one verse because I just did this introduction is for as the body is one it has many members and all the members of that one body being many are one body so also is Christ we're all those of us that believe and I'm just talking about us as believers and the fact that the importance of us as believers is now the time to let our light shine and show people the love of God. You know, one of the things about that scripture and another scripture we're reading, we're talking about in 1 John chapter 3, and the fact is in the beginning, God wanted us to love one another. And he said, not as that wicked Cain who did the harmful things to his brother Abel, who was a righteous person, and righteous means right standing with God. And all of you that receive right, you're in the right standing with God. But if you have hated you, you have no eternal life abiding in you. And that's what we want to be able to talk about. 
did one of the things about the affirmative action plan, one of the things that Judge Thomas was talking about, the fact is that people sit there and say, you didn't belong here because you're a quota. But obviously, just some people thought you didn't belong here, period. And that's what the affirmative action was, to open those doors where people would say, you don't belong, you do belong. And if we have to create laws or affirmative action to open those doors, then go through those doors. But now, if we say, based on the Supreme Court, that the doors are open, and a person belongs there because of their talent, because of their education, because I don't think you probably know about it, but a lot of schools, based on the school you came from, a lot of the people that was in the front action plan, whether in the visual school, whether in the HBCU school, or whether in Harvard or Yale, they, they're, most of them are gifted, talented people get into MIT and into those schools. And the only difference are the people who don't have the gifts and may not have the education or the talent are those who are from the legacy. Meaning if you went to that school, then you your child has the right to go to that school. So therefore they may not have be a high achiever, but they were a legacy. So what we want to do is make sure that we as a body of Christ encourage and edify one another and do the right thing. So I hope you enjoy this video. We're obviously gonna break it down to part A, B, C, D, whatever it needs to do to complete it. And just listen to the fact is that God has a affirmative action plan for eternal life, meaning whether you are an African American, whether you are European American, whether you're an Asian American, whether you are Chinese American, whether you are Jew or Gentile, God has an affirmative action plan that when you get to heaven, ain't nobody gonna say you don't belong there. Nobody gonna sit there and say you are poor. Everybody gonna sit there and say that it plays God for you and for me to be here then praise God. Amen. So I hope you enjoy the study, and I'll see you when I see you. God bless. Bye-bye. But I, I, I'm still excited because of, of, of what I want to talk about today with you and anybody that's going to listen uh, for the live or see the recording later. But uh, I was reacting to the uh, what happened with the Supreme Court. You and I was talking about earlier. Uh, and and to say uh, we 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 have re we have arrived to the colorblind, uh, uh, what do you call Which it? Which is an impossible. Neutral. <laughs> but 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 the, the the point is that they want to they believe that the whole purpose of the the affirmative action and everything else was to really correct a wrong, right? That has been done, too, right? Meaning, like you said, is. For somebody to say that the society has arrived to the point where uh, people are colorblind and and now they're, they're basing their decision on the content of the character of the person uh, opposed to color or, or where you came from. <laughs> if, if, if you believe that we're here or do you believe that having affirmative actions to address wrong, to address discrimination, is not an effective tool. Uh, all we want, and I'm going to tell you, most people that's listening today, is that most group, ethnic group, whatever you want to go, from a European uh, American, African American, uh, Hispanic American, anybody, any group, all they want is just move the obstacles out of the way that allow that keeps me from pursuing happiness and prosperity. That's all we. That's all people ask for. I'm, I'm not concerned. The only reason that they, they talk about the quota or affirmative action is because the doors were closed, and that if you can't, if I don't get the access to, to get to. Harvard, Yale, or, or Division I school, or even a historical black college, university, then, then that's what affirmative action is trying to address. Open the door, allow these people, allow space for people to come in. And we had talked about the, and I bring this one in, 
What I thought I was saying is that the people made them feel like they don't belong there because they were given special treatment. And opposed to the fact that he's overlooking the fact is, no, I'm in here because of my academics. Well, I have the, I may have. says that it is proof that it needs to be. If you have people saying that you don't belong there, Exactly. That is the reason why affirmative <laughs> action exists. Exactly. Because why do you not belong there when your academia is better than theirs? And they yes, are it, telling you that you don't belong there. Exactly. So, so that is the whole purpose of it anyway. And that was what he wrote on. Exactly. Took the position that he's in. And so my biggest thing is it seems like we have a a classes problem mm -hmm. amongst our, ourselves. Mm -hmm. It's like once you get to the point to where you're living comfortable, you look down upon the struggle yeah. that you have to do to get to where you are. And right. You think that these people who are down here are not doing what it's taking to get up to where you are. And they don't need no help. They're just not putting in the effort. Well yeah. They put in the effort, but yet there's 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 some roadblocks, there's some there's systematic some, roadblocks, some, some things in place to prevent mm -hmm. these people from moving forward. Yeah. Only a few slip through the cracks, and they right. always take those few and make them represent the me. Everything about us is always exasperated mm -hmm. by individuals. Yeah. So you'll take an individual doing one thing and then you apply it to the whole group of people. So, and we're probably one of the few people, people of color, that that applies to. Because uh, uh, any other race that commits a crime, for the most part, it doesn't affect how the world treats that group of people. Right. It's in more so than because of how it does, does uh, so called African American. Yeah. Well, and reason why, too, is, is, is I'm going to interrupt you, but I'm, I'm just trying to say the reason why people listen very carefully the same narrative that was developed to try to justify uh, the slave trade yeah. uh, to. to to dehumanize a person or a group, and it's not a person, a group of people, to justify the, the your pattern, your behavior, your, your attitude toward a person has really, it has changed, it continues to morph better to the point now they may sit there and say, you one of them, meaning they'll take you in the group, right? And they'll, they'll start sitting and find out which people in that group are good ones you're, 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 yeah. these, these yeah. are good well, ones you 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 have to be some of the greatest people in the world to actually be accepted as an average person <laughs> and, and, and 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 let me put it, chris rock said something one time that made so much sense he said i have to be and he says i'm not bragging to myself but one of the best comedians mm -hmm. in the country yeah. to live in the neighborhood that I live in. Yeah. He says, and right next door to me is an average doctor, <laughs> an average lawyer, an average yeah. teacher. Not, not, not great you know, doctor, not a great yeah. lawyer. Right. Yeah, just right. average. He says, but yeah. I got to be the greatest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what he's trying to say. That's where I exist. And, yeah. and so, just because he fits in that that doesn't apply to everybody no no you know and, and, in the and, come up and so exactly. if if you got a few that you accept and then you you only accept a few and but you use that few to apply to the advancements of everybody yeah when you don't accept everybody equally yeah anyway Exactly, and, and that's what I that's what I see is the is 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 still 
getting into a race and you you have to start off down in the hole right or, or you don't you don't have all the the, the advanced you don't have all the standard tools to do the race right how, how are the better better what's the better way of saying it it's almost like a, i remember like a little joke they're talking about when they talk about picture in the in the hole 10 feet deep can't get out because he pitched with his feet right in, in other words I'm, 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 you, you getting the person 10 seconds of fat, uh, opportunity to jump in front of me, you know, to run. And then I gotta, then I gotta go and catch up. Yeah. I gotta always try to catch up. But the right? problem is you catch up, you pass and you, them, yeah. and you still are less yeah. than, consider yeah. less than. Well, what, I think the thing about it, like I said, when you, like you said earlier though, is to separate the high achiever, right? Because majority of people can't catch up when you do that, when you give that well, a person advantage. But, but the, the problem is, it's like they do catch up. They just don't surpass. Yeah, if they don't surpass, right. The, the high if, achiever if it was passes equal, you. They yeah. would have surpassed. Exactly. And been considered as. Um, right. But because they are they start from behind exactly they don't burn so much energy just to catch up yeah. that they can't surpass you but some of them do yeah. right yeah. some of them do some and then in fact when you, and then you, then you talk about as a group of people and people we're talking we're talking about the firm action all this stuff like that the past and all that but technically but as of what what people see is the the let's talk you know let's call this let's use our history as a race mm -hmm. right or, or you know, a racetrack and starting off as first captured from from where you country of origin you didn't come here uh, voluntarily and you were education wise you would not it was illegal to teach you how to read mm -hmm. um, and then you were Get like I said, all kind of stereotype that goes with it, just to justify why I have you as, as property, why I have you as cattle, why I, why I can call you a less than. And then when the the freedom came, the the Juneteenth, or whatever you want to call it, the, the, the Civil War that that ended slavery to a degree, uh, you. You, you, it's just like, look, go out there, bro. Just think about it, right? Go out there and survive. Go, go, go do. I don't, I ain't gonna give you that. You're leaving with no education. Not all of you. Most of you don't have the education. Most of you don't have a family structure, right? Your kids are scattered all over the place and all that. You don't have a home. <laughs> you know, where they, where they let them go, right? Yeah. <laughs> you, you, it wasn't like you're going home. Uh, you got to you got to establish yourself any way you can. Uh, you didn't have a school system, and then when you try to vote and all that stuff, some things were happening, some things weren't. But I guess the point is that you were that that delay in that run we was talking about, right? The, the, the bullet has already been fired, but other people have already been running. Yeah. Well, yeah. You also got to understand that. There was a superiority complex that had been put in place for a long and, time, yeah. And, and for most people who were on the recipient end of that, <laughs> really didn't know that it existed, or didn't care, and didn't they, care. No, and, they didn't and, care. And and, and and so, you know, you're living this this life with these these liberties you know that are taken away from a whole nother group and then exactly. when this group is given those liberties <laughs> you have a problem with them achieving with those liberties so you right. want to take them away again yeah to hold the fact, people back because <laughs> every time they left people to exist people of color that they were held down and the ones who had the ability to go 
and do. Now, I'm not saying all. There was not a all. lot of slaves well, take it, they take it that with had their mind broke and they mm -hmm. could not exist on their own without being told or whatever, just like prisoners. Yeah, when but you know they you put a person now, in prison, he's comfortable with that lifestyle to the point to where he feels better off in society in that prison. In that prison. Then outside with his freedom. But what we're saying is use the Black Wall Street as a good example. Yeah, that, and, and that's that's my point. So every time they get the the the, the liberty uh -huh. and, and the and the freedoms and the uh, the, the ability to achieve, yeah. They had a problem with it. They because did because they did achieve, and uh, and most times they overachieve. Overachieve, and they love. everybody, <laughs> everybody in that community was living better than most of the people outside of that community. And exactly. so they destroyed every one of those communities. That particular one, which was called Black Wall Street, all this stuff. Some days they, they Some days bombed were. them, they <laughs> shot, burned, and killed, looted, and everything. There's others, they did that, and they just flooded that whole entire cities. And those cities are underwater to this day all over this country. Exactly. Hey, look, look, look. So, the, which, which is, which is the pattern of behavior. This is so. What, what we're seeing, y'all, y'all, everybody. What you said is, I'm seeing a progressive achievement of African Americans, people of color, thriving, or you know, advancing. In other yeah. words. I got I got the Peter I got the the Petersburg or the or Macon of, of some kids that's shooting each other. I got some mm -hmm. kids that's doing what we really mentally want them to do yeah. uh, and shooting in Chicago. But I'm looking at these, and here's a good example. We just had a African American. This is still black. I think it's all this back flat. What would you call it? What do you call it? Backlashing or whatever, or white lashing or whatever. Is that that man that was elected of color went to one of those Ivy League schools mm -hmm. under that program? That that man, even Clarence Thomas, is sitting on that bench, went to a Ivy League school, right? And, and 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 he look where he's, he's on. He's sitting at the top, one of the top benches on there. And but he was he got there by being a quota. But the point is that quota was was giving them the 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 the, the uh, uh, opportunity. Is that better to say? Yeah. That the opportunity to reach that level. The President Obama, he was given opportunity from the system. But he said he took advantage of it too, right? He, he took advantage. He of took it. advantage. Of, he took advantage of an opportunity that was available. Available, and he excelled in it. That makes sense. I say that was offered because it's available, but it's okay. just not offered. It was offered, right? I don't know when they're doing their recruiting. When they say I'm trying to give diversity, I'm I'm gonna come and show the brother Addison's home. I know he's a straight A's honor student. Uh, he may not be the valedictorian. But he's the honor student. He has shown and demonstrated the capacity to fit into our environment and excel. And on top of that, those people, Michelle Obama and even Obama, even Clarence Thomas, like you said, the legacy students, George Bush, C average, even Kerry, C average. These people demonstrated the ability not only to attend the school. But graduate with honors, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, and 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 so the system, like you said, is looking at us like you give we we giving them too much uh, opportunity, and they're gonna take advantage of the opportunity, not squander the opportunity, and that's what they're hoping, right? This the the, the narrative is to to squander the opportunity. Mm -hmm. To, to, to show that we brought you in as a token. But the, but the other part of that is 
we give you the opportunity, hoping that you you, you fail. Yeah, exactly. And then That's when you excel, we put everything against you to yes, defeat sir. you, yes, so sir. that you don't achieve the goal. Exactly. exactly. And you still achieve. And you so still now achieve. Problem. Now there's a problem and because there's a problem. No matter exactly. what we do, they're going to be successful. With yes. This program. So we got to get rid of the program. Exactly. And that's the whole point. And that's what we're just saying. And that was an example of we got to get rid of it. We we're, we're colorblind society. Well, demonstrate it. That's what we want to. That's what I'm thinking right now, right? To, to demonstrate it. Yeah. There, there's because, no such thing as colorblind when you look at statistics. If if people of color do the same crime as Caucasian people, but it shows that the punishment is far greater for people of color than for Caucasian people. Uh, people uh, who are Caucasian get off for crimes that people of color get extenuating time mm -hmm. in prison mm -hmm. for. Right. The same crime. And right. so if your justice system is unjust, mm -hmm. that says a whole lot about the rest of the system because your justice system is supposed to be just. And, 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 and you know, in their mind, people listen to this, in their mind, the image that we wanted to create from the beginning is the reason you get punished with more severity is because you already have that behavior in you and we have to address you that way. Yeah. Same thing we're talking about everything to clip on this person of color is because that person is violent. That person, I was talking, listen, one meeting the other day, they told me they came from, you know, like Mexico or some Southern America and they were warned that African-Americans and they put them all in one box, mm -hmm. one basket and said they are valid people. And then the guy sit there and say, well, I had to live in their community, even though I was warned when I was coming. I found them to be very receptive to me. They, you know, willing to allow me to come into that community. They didn't act valid. And at the same time, he was taught that when a European or Caucasian walked past them, they were told that they are not valid. And yet the history people, such as Black Wall Street, such as lynching, that's a valid, was it, we agree, we talk about it, so that's, that was a very valid death, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Right? And yet the intent is trying to say is that these people are not valid. But yet there's a demonstration. I'm going to know if you got statistics. When well, you talk about statistics, you use statistics, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think statistics show that they are violent yeah. people. Yeah. They, they, they are extremely violent. Extreme, very extreme. Not Could violent, very extreme. extremely <laughs> violent and, and shown to be capable of extreme violent acts. Very atrocity. Yeah, and, and people, we trying to say, they say, no, we ain't sent. They see, that's what we're trying to tell you about us. Stop trying to put everybody in the same basket, but make sure you understand that you have some violent people <laughs> that can do some bad things. You have people who have done serial killing, mass killing. You, you had people who went to the Lord school, has made. What, what elementary we school? We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And, and the people, children had to be dead. God, Jesus, Lord, for all the good things you've done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. A mass shooting by a Caucasian person. We got to identify the reason why this particular person did what they did. There's got to be something. Exactly, because the narrative says that you shouldn't have done that. Yeah, so we got to figure out something. You were you were uh, radicalized by something yeah. that's not normal for everybody else. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? They got, yeah. to, they got to go back there. No different than if a black person commits a crime 
we got to look at all the dirt in his background, but they never do that for anybody else. You don't exactly. have a victim mm -hmm. victimized unless they're a person of color. If a yeah. person of color